Well, generally speaking, I would say that APC is experiencing a revolution and evolution, both internal and external. Kano State is one of the states that uh, is uh, distinctly experiencing the functionalization of the party. But uh, it's not the only state. There are more than uh, a dozen states that have come up with uh, multiple leadership. Kano okay. State particularly, we have been advising that uh, there is need for formal changes in the party, such that people-oriented policies and programs and a, and a way to bring more young people to the party. Unfortunately, we came to a point where leadership change is required, uh, but establishment can want to retain the existing leadership. Our reason for this uh, call for changes is that uh, you cannot repeat the same thing and then get a different result. This leadership have changed, have not changed in any way, and uh, they have not delivered in 2019. We barely survived, and I don't see how they can be rewarded with another time. And in fact, uh, there is a lot more degeneration in terms of the way the democracy and the party is going on. Well, basically, like I've said, I'm calling for change. So obviously, I'm rooting for the new chairman, uh, Arun Nandango. Arun Nandango is an experienced politician. He's been in the system for a very long time. He's a democrat. He understands that party is our people. It's not about uh, dictatorship. It's not about uh, basically um, uh, establishing hierarchy in the party. It's not about dashing positions. It's about opening up so that people with capacity, with knowledge, with wisdom, with relationship, can come and grow the party. I believe Harold Enzo has what it takes to do that. And uh, we recognize him as the authentic elected uh, party chairman in Kano. And we believe that he's going to lead this party to success in the forthcoming election.